Choosing a good bottle of olive oil at the supermarket is a shot in the dark for most folks, but Jack's here to show us which brand is worth the money. Yeah, this is really tricky. We sampled the 10 best-selling brands in the U.S., and frankly, most of them were very underwhelming. So I'm going to show you how you taste, because there's a way you do there's this. There's a method to the madness? Oh, there's a method to this. So we're in the blue glasses. I was wondering, do we have a candle? Are we doing a seance here? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want you having any preconceptions. So the blue hides the color. Hides the color. Warm the bottom of it by holding it, kind of cupping it. All right. Trapping the volatiles. You're going to get a lot from your nose here. Okay. And then put your nose in, big sniff, and then we're going to aspirate the oil. So okay. follow me. The idea is you're coating your palate with little drops of olive oil to really get the flavor dispersed. Nobody aspirates like you, Julia, so. Was it elegant? <laughs> it was really elegant. You can do it at the rest of the tasting however you like. What I really want you to focus on are things that taste like olives. Given that it's many times the price of vegetable oil, why would you buy an olive oil that doesn't taste like olives? Several of the brands that we tasted were utterly bland. People said this could be canola oil or vegetable oil. You're going to see that there are some styles here where there's a much more aggressive, kind of peppery olive oil, and there may be things that are sort of more fruity and balanced. And again, that's really just about how ripe the olives were when they were picked. We also sent these out to labs. They look for something called free fatty acids, mm. and it's a sign basically that the olives were allowed to ferment before they were pressed. And it's a sign of rancidity which indicates the main problem with olive oil in the U.S. is freshness. Most of the samples need to be fresher, but by the time they get the olive oil over from Europe to U.S. markets, it's not at its best. So you want to read the labels, only buy olive oil that has a harvest date in the last 12 months. After 12 months, the oil really starts to go downhill. Second thing you can do at the supermarket is buy olive oil in a dark green bottle. The clear bottles may be pretty and let you see whether you're getting a golden oil or a green oil, but they're letting light in. Gotcha. And that can be light from fluorescent lights mm -hmm. in the supermarket or sunlight. Either of those is going to damage the flavor. The third thing is one single source. So if you read the label and it says made with oils from, and then lists 11 countries, that is a very, very bad sign. It means it's industrial, basically, and they're buying the cheapest oils they can get and mixing them all together. Our two favorite oils, one came from Tuscany, one came from California, all picked in one single region, bottled in that region. That assures that there's going to be freshness. And when you've got 12 different countries supplying oil, it is not a good thing. So I've given you some time to sniff, to swirl. Mm -hmm. Any impressions of these three samples? Well, they're definitely different. And I'm getting a lot through the nose, almost more so than tasting. Yeah. This one was my favorite. It had a well-rounded flavor. It had a peppery bite at the end, but it wasn't overpowering. So okay. of all three, this was my favorite. Now, these two, to me, tasted a bit more mild. I kind of, I didn't really like either of them. Okay. So, you're, you're, you're allowed to yeah. not like whatever you they don't want to like. They terrible, but on the other hand, this one had more flavor. So let's start with what you liked. All right. Julia, you chose the winner. It's California Olive Ranch. It's really peppery. It can be very assertive, tasted like this, but again, when you start putting it in a vinaigrette or drizzled over a piece of grilled fish, it's mm -hmm. really quite delicious. Favorite of the tasting panel. It's relatively inexpensive. It's $9.99. It's a great olive oil. Yeah, not so expensive. Which is really nice. Yeah. So which brings us to number two. All right. Um, which was our runner-up. Ah. Now, this is the Tuscan oil. It's very mild and buttery. It's right on that fine line between buttery and bland. We yes. think it is on the buttery side, but it's expensive. It's almost $21 a bottle. Wow. And so for somebody who wants olive oil but wants something that's not peppery, that was our top choice. Gotcha. And this last guy? This is Pompeian. We thought it was just bland. It just doesn't make sense to spend the money for olive oil if it doesn't taste like olives. So there you have it. When you're buying olive oil at the supermarket, look for the brand California Olive Ranch. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.